Let's prove given reasons that d1 is equals to d2. Right, so we're trying to prove that uh, this angle d1 right here is equals to this angle d2. So where do we even start? Right, uh, it's the question statement that is going to guide us on where to start, what we need to use, and so on. So let's go through the question statement so that we can have an idea of what we need to do. Uh, so we're told that in the diagram DEFG is a cyclic quadrilateral. Uh, that is key, right? So our first keyword here is cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic uh, quad. Right. We know that there's a few properties with regards to a cyclic quad, right? So we can take that as a keyword. So right, uh, let's move forward. We are also told that the line EF is parallel to DG. So we can say that EF is parallel uh, to DG. Uh, grade 8 mathematics, we know that there's a few properties around parallel lines. And then we are also told that uh, the line DH is parallel the line fg so this is all we need to prove that the angle d1 is equals to d2 so our first keyword is cyclic quad let's go ahead and see if we can use that right uh, so the cyclic quad here is d e f g right so we are interested in this angle d1 right uh, all we can say about d1 is that d1 plus angle f should be equal to 180 degrees the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary we just proved that uh, not so long ago uh, so we're gonna say that d1 plus angle f is equal to 180 degrees our reason being that uh, opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary uh, right we know that for sure and then we have used cyclic quad what else can we use let's go to our second keyword our second keyword is that ef is parallel dg so this line ef is parallel dg Right, uh, there isn't anything we can say about D1 with regards to those two lines being parallel. There isn't anything uh, we can say about we can say about D2, right? Uh, but we can say that uh, this angle F here plus this angle G are supplementary. The add to 180 degrees, right? So we can say that um, angle F plus angle G. Uh, they are equal to 180 degrees co-interior angles right they are co-interior angles but then wait a minute look at something here d1 plus f is 180 and then g plus f is also 180 so that is easy to see that d1 should be equal to g right because when you add f to all those angles you get 180 degrees so this will be equals to each other right and then now uh, the last keyword dh is parallel fg so dh is this line here and is parallel fg if dh is parallel fg then d2 and angle g should be alternating angles so we can say that d2 is equals to g because they are alternating angles right but then we just said that d1 is equals to g and now we're saying that d2 is equals to g so now we can conclude and say that d1 is equals to d2 since they're all equals to angle g